the Alan Turing Institute, the University of Newcastle and Tech Moms partnered to host an event in Newcastle at the Centre for Life. We invited women from the North East to hear the inspirational story of Sue Black and take part in a workshop hosted by her social enterprise, Tech Mums. Professor Sue Black left school at 16. At the age of 25, she found herself in a women's refuge centre, living in poverty and alone with her children. At 26, she decided to turn her life around. She went to university to study for a degree in computing, going on to a PhD in software engineering. She is now one of the most influential women in tech in the UK and has recently taken on a professorship at the University of Durham. I'm going to be speaking about my, my life, my kind of journey, also my career, and lots of things that I've done along the way, like running the campaign to save Bletchley Park, setting up the UK's first online network for women in tech, BCS Women, and the social enterprise that I run now called Tech Mums. Sue founded Tech Mums in 2012 with the aim to empower women through technology. Tech Mums is a social enterprise that teaches women skills and confidence in computing, helping them reach their full potential. We wanted to help Sue share her story with the women of the North East and to give them a taste of what the Tech Mums clubs have to offer. So I'm really excited about the workshop that we're running today, um, the Tech Mums app design workshop. I'm really hoping that it will help everyone to realise that they can design their own apps and I'm all for, particularly women, getting very creative with technology and so that's absolutely what we're all about here today. We invited participants to share their stories and let us know what they thought. Very inspirational. I've learned how to design an app. I had never really thought about it before. I actually went over and shook her hand afterwards because it's not easy to talk about when you've been through times of real struggle I think she's inspiring because not only has she, you know, bounced back from that, but she's actually able to stand and talk about it in front of a, a large group of people rather than hiding away. I'm a full-time mum on a long, long-term sick from my employment. I had a road traffic accident coming up 12 years ago. Big thing was a head injury, and the head injury unfortunately left me with epilepsy, which isn't yet controlled. I used to be a whiz with computers in my employment, but now I'm not so good. I need to learn a little bit more. Because like Sue said, if she could do it, anyone could do it. I love the talk, but to hear her story and um, how well she's done, and, and it's sort of, you know, she can be so inspiring for other people. She was really inspirational. It enabled us to collaborate and share ideas, and we'd never met before, but we came up with something in 10 minutes, which was amazing. The coding. The history side was like inspiring to say that if they could do it in that time, we can do something else now. So these days anyone can do something with technology, anyone can be creative. We've got lots of resources on the Tech Mums website and we've also got a great Facebook group, um, Tech Mums Facebook group, which anyone can join. And uh, we're all about supporting you to get out there and create technology.